Hello everyone, today let's talk about two new musical animation, Leo and Wish. We will review these two animation and then I will tell you which one of them is better and worth watching. So stay with me. First, let's go through the Wish. Wish has a very weak plot. Although it has some funny moments, but still it's not great. The story is about king of a land who knows magic. People bring their wishes to the king and king makes their wishes come true. Meanwhile, a girl finds out that not all the wishes come true, but those wishes that king chooses them, they come true. The story is about a girl who attempts to stand in front of a cruel king, which I think is not that much cruel, he has logical reason, in my idea. But the girl is so selfish, and I think you will get me if you watch the film. It doesn't have any likable characters, and I think the jokes didn't land it at all. I've read a review about this animation, which said the songs sounded like they were generated using AI, and I'm totally agree with it. It's genetics! Yeah, I got these genes from outer space! What Disney was trying to say was don't place your hopes, wishes, and dreams into the hands of a power greater than you. You will be there a slave until the end of your life, and you must serve them to make them more powerful. But the point is, the power is in you. Maybe children enjoy this animation a lot, but for adults, I must say, I watch this animation so you don't have to. And I think I'm clear enough. Let's see the rates of Wish and then we will go through the Leo and finally we will decide which one is better. The IMDb rate for Wish is 5.9, Rotten Tomato is 49 and Metacritic is 48 and my rate to Wish is just 3 out of 10. Now Leo which released on November 17. Despite how much Wish was awful, Leo is great. Leo is a lizard who has been living in a class as a class pet since 1949 with his best friend a squirtle, which is a turtle. The students were given the responsibility to take one of the class pets on weekends and take care of it. So kids in turn take Leo home who turns out to be a talking lizard. You just spoke! Mom! Leo tells them they are the only one that can hear him. The only one who can hear me. Oh. So Leo decides to get close to each children and gives them advice on their dilemmas. I really enjoyed the plot and I really loved the voice actor performance, especially Adam Sandler as Leo and Bill Burr as the turtle. This animation is definitely for children and it has a very important message to them. And also adults can enjoy watching this animation with their children. I was really impressed by jokes, animation and heartwarming connection between classmates and students. What Leo was trying to say was find your trustworthy true friend. It can be your mother, father, sibling, friends, anyone to talk about your problems any person that can help you with your anxiety and problems. And I think it's a really important message for children to teach. But the only thing that I really didn't like about Leo was the songs. I just skipped the songs. In general, Leo is a very enjoyable, funny animated film which you can watch it with your children. I highly recommend it to you. The IMDb rate for Leo is 7, Rotten Tomato is 81, and Metacritic is 65, and my rate to Leo is 7 out of 10. As you saw, the rates for Leo is higher than Wish and definitely is better option for watching. Have you watched Leo or Wish? What do you think about? Let me know if you have another opinion. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please tap the subscribe button, then send it to your friends. If there is any question, any mistake or any suggestion, please let me know. Love you all. See you soon.